Right, so, in the last In A Nutshell video about Apple Stores, I saw a good number of comments showing that a lot of people had either never been in an Apple Store before, or the country slash city that they lived in simply didn't have any Apple Stores. So this time around, I did market research. Costco have around 804 stores across 12 countries, 558 in the United States, 103 in Canada, 39 in Mexico, 29 in the UK, 27 in Japan, 16 in South Korea, 14 in Taiwan, 13 in Australia, 4 in Spain, 2 in France, 1 in Iceland, and 1 in China. So if you don't happen to live in any of these places, or you simply have never visited Costco before, don't you worry. This will be a learning experience. I shall enlighten you, young child. Come forth take my corporate hand. So put simply, Costco is a large American wholesale store chain. They're pretty much just big warehouses stocked with products in bulk for businesses. Here's the logo, here's the store, here's a video of a man walking around the store very, very fast, and we're up to date. Perfect. And for any of you wise guys out there that are sat there saying, oh, Joe makes videos on the weirdest subjects ever. First Crocs, now Costco. Well, Anyways, the first thing you've got to know about Costco is that it's a members only club. You have to either be a member or be with a member to actually buy things in the store. Now, it's not like it's an exclusive club or anything. I mean, Costco's not exactly hard to get into. I mean, it's barely four knocks. You just have to simply go up to the desk and apply for your Costco card, which as far as cards go, is arguably cooler than an American Express black card or a PSA 10 Pokemon card. You sign up, pay a membership fee and you're in. But of course, you need a photo. Now, this isn't just a Costco thing, but those tiny little desk cameras they use to take photos for membership cards are always awful, like negative three megapixel bad. You end up looking like some wanted drug cartel member from the 70s. I'm convinced the camera they use to take membership card photos with is the exact same camera that took all of those alleged photos of Bigfoot or any UFO sighting ever. I mean, the photos from those things are so bad, I'm pretty sure that the Costco worker behind the desk could probably do a more accurate rendition of your face using just a crayon. They even have a security guard that is paid to stand at the front of Costco and check your membership card to make sure that you match the photo on it. How they even validate that, I have no fucking idea. They might as well just be staring at an ink blot. Tell me what you see. Fuck knows, mate, it's a fucking... Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, once you have your ugly ass photo sorted, you are now a certified Costco member and are free to enter the store floor. Now, in most Costcos, technology seems to be the first area. So you have your phones, your cameras, your microwaves, standard. But then, you see them. Those huge ass... 100 inch 12k TVs with OLED LCD OCD ADHD ACDC screens for like 10 grand You know what I mean those TVs where the quality is so insane and the colors are so vivid you start to think is this shit better than my eyesight. Like you look at the TV for a few seconds and then everything around you just looks low quality. It makes you rethink your entire existence. Like your eyes were set to 480p quality for your whole life. So if you ever do manage to make it out of the TV trance, you can enter the main store, a metropolis of perfectly packaged products, thousands of identically arranged items in huge bulk pallets and shelves towered up to the ceilings. Costco has everything you can think of, from coffee refills to wine to rotisserie chicken. Costco has the most random shit. You wander off on an adventure down an aisle and you find something new in a batch of a thousand. Costco is so big and open and full of shit that it feels like you've broken into someone's storage warehouse. You know in most stores how you'll go up and ask a worker if they've got a product in stock and they'll go oh yeah let me just go and check in the back motherfucker you are already in the back in fact the costco staff ask you where items are because they don't even know themselves i'm convinced some of the people i see shopping around costco have been in there for 10 years and they just don't know the way out the place is so full to the brim with pure stuff that whenever you turn your head away it feels like a new thing just spawns it's not just loads of smaller items either costco have these big expensive show floor items from sofas to hot tubs to full-blown kids playground now, I used to be so confused as a kid because when I'd see these things, I used to think to myself, okay, so say you bought it, how were they supposed to take that to your car? And of course, obviously, I know that's not the case now. They don't do that. They mail it instead. And sometimes there's just one singular super weird item. 14 foot animatronic bear statue for £16,000. Why is that there? Who knows? It's Costco. It makes perfect sense. It's like walking through your nan's attic or a very, very large pawn shop. 
Best I could do is maybe a $19 Fortnite card. I mean, I don't even know where these things come from. Maybe somebody was just desperate to get rid of the product and just walked it into Costco and stuck a price tag on it. Costco also have these huge fridges too that I'm convinced have more landmass than all of Antarctica with frozen fish to ice cream. And don't even get me started on free samples. You have these lovely people dotted all around the store that hand out free food and drink samples of various products. I used to plan out routes in my head of how I could navigate around the store to hit each one in a chain. And then I'd see how many times I could repeat said chain until they finally clocked on and refused to give me free samples. One brisk stroll around Costco and you've got enough free samples to have a full-blown three-course meal. It's like they reward you just for being in the store. But I'd be a fool if I mentioned food in relation to Costco and didn't mention the Costco food court, the iconic menu. Now, when it comes to this glorious location, with Costco being American, we all know that America likes to take things and just make them bigger. Big buildings, big cars, big people. And that rule applies to Costco food. Huge hot dogs, the length of two hot dogs, but in one massive hot dog. Gigantic pizzas that look like some sort of shit out of the Guinness Book of World Records. Pizzas so big that one singular slice could feed a small village for a week. And the smoothies that taste like the Costco workers have gone in the back of the kitchen, walked into a freshly grown orchard, handpicked the fruit for you, and crushed it with the foot of an elephant just for your drinking pleasure. The food court is placed right at the end of the store too, rewarding you for making it through the labyrinth that is Costco. The gods have rewarded you with a hearty meal. By far one of my favourite places on planet Earth, a trip to Costco is always a treat. I only have fond memories of the place. And with all of that selection, endless choice, take as much as you need, stock up in bulk, I always end up leaving with one singular rotisserie chicken and a houseplant. No, this video is not sponsored. I'm a fully grown man talking about Costco for the whole video. And just quickly, guys, I'm going traveling soon, so there might not be a video for a month or two, and I want to put some focus towards some larger video projects. But trust me, when I get back, there are some very very big plans. I don't really like plugging shit on videos, but for anybody that doesn't know, Twitter is where I post most of the shit that's going on, and very funny memes. There is a wasp in my PC. There's a Discord server that you can join, and I've recently been streaming a lot more on Twitch, so if you guys want to come and hang in some chill streams, that'd be wicked. Stay tuned, gamers. And with all of that said, goodbye!